Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn about the datum coordinate system. Coordinate system is a system to determine the position of geometric element or object in a 3D space. So let me create a new file. Usually we use a Cartesian coordinate system. So when we open the file, we will see a coordinate system here and uh, this is is a absolute coordinate system we will delete this one and we will create it again for that we need to go here datum plane and here drop down menu and select a datum coordinate system and we will select absolute coordinate system then ok and you can see the here C S Y S C means coordinate and S Y S means system. So as a name suggests, this coordinate system is an absolute one. It means it does not does not move and uh, its uh, orientation also is fixed. It gives you fixed reference in a 3D space. Uh, we can create only one, and you can create many, but it's not visible and it's not used. So uh, let's uh, create one more absolute coordinate system. Okay, so you can see here in the part navigator we have two coordinate system, but both, but here you can see only one because both are absolute one. So that's the reason you cannot see both at a time. So we can see only at a time. So that's the reason we will delete this one. So let's talk about the next type that is dynamic coordinate system. So you need to go to datum system and here you select dynamic one. Once you select this, you will see a uh, reference coordinate system. You need to give a reference. So here drop down we have three uh, options one is WCS and another one is absolute and the time being I will select absolute one so when you select the absolute one you can see the manipulator here here you can change the orientation um, and you can move move the coordinate system or you can rotate in a certain axis like this and you can move the point also wherever you want now i will change the angle to 45 degree and i will uh, move to this coordinate system in x direction to this certain level take 100 mm so click ok so now we will go back to the dynamic system So you, you have two more options here WCS and w, Absolute. So if you select Absolute, Manipulator will be in the same coordinate system. So if you select WCS, the Manipulator will be in the same direction. So we can change this. So we can define the work coordinate system. WS means work coordinate system. Now we will change it W system to new coordinate system. We already drawn one here. Uh, we can cancel this time now we go to the part navigator uh, then we select a new coordinate system so this is a new one what we had drawn and this is the old one so new coordinate system is defined as a wcs for that we need to right click and go to set wcs to datum coordinate system so now we will go to dynamic coordinate system so here if you select wcs it will change to the new one so uh, now you can see manipulator will be in the new newly created datum system and uh, you can manipulate if you want you can move or somewhere like this and you select ok so the next type is called infrared datum system so you need to go to here and select and from the type you can see infrared 
so infrared means it is a approximately uh, here we need to define the planes so let's define the planes so I will select this one this one and this one so you can see XYZ is formed and click apply so we can use this one on the 3d object so let me try that and uh, we will create its block for that you need to go to insert design feature and um, block so it's already predefined 100 and 100 so I will click OK so you can change the specific point also but the as default it will select the uh, which one work coordinate system so currently we have defined as the work coordinate system you can see the points so it will be there then click OK now we will go to um, infrared coordinate system so here you can select the line if you want or the um, point or here you can see point or lines see you can see the coordinate system here apply so you even you can see uh, select the planes lines in the object so we will move to the next one next type and that is three planes so it is similar to infrared so you need to select the planes or face so here three planes so you can select this one as this one this one so you can see the coordinate system is created so then we will go to next type that is offset coordinate system so you can see here offset coordinate system so here um, you can give the reference like one reference is WCS already defined so absolute that is the default one and selected coordinate system so you can select whichever you want so I will select this one this will be the reference so from that uh, like uh, there will be a two types one is uh, translate first and rotate first for translate first it will move in some certain direction if we give a values then it will start rotate so whichever you given value rotate first is the opposite of translate uh, first okay so here whichever angle is given here so it will rotate first then it will translate so let me see the one example here uh, you need to give the values and I will give you a high axis 100 and Y I will zoom out you can see the newly create coordinate system here and I will select this is as a 45 okay so you can see like first it will move then it will rotate it okay so I will apply it then let's check about uh, select the rotate first so before that we need to select the reference I select this one because of rotate first it is rotated first that is the reason you can see it is in uh, the coordinate system in different location so but the values what you have given it is the same so if you translate first it will go here if it is rotate first this one and you can apply now we will select another type that is corner system at current view so if you want a view uh, like if if you want a corner system with respect to the view so you can select here also for example this one so for this view you need a corner system so we already have z and x so you can create one more in a different directions if you click apply you can see the new coordinates is with respect to current view so if you change the view I will change like this I will rotate the view and I will apply so you can see the different coordinate system you it created here so it completely uh, depend on the current view so that's all for today and we will uh, see in the next video and uh, thank you for watching.